hello friends today we are going to learn isolation and utilization of podophyllotoxin from the uh, medicinal plant that is uh, podophyllum hexandrum so before starting uh, this uh, discussion you can subscribe my channel by cl clicking the red button subscribe and clicking the bell icon so that you can get a notification for uh, the new video whatever i have going to be upload even uh, this all presentation which i am going to discuss over here uh, this you can be download from my uh, blog that is rcpipercognosy.blogspot.in so here we start with the uh, isolation and utilization of podophyllotoxin so podophyllotoxin it is an active chemical constituent which is obtained from uh, the roots and rhizome of the plant that is podophyllum hexandrum and podophyllum imodi belong to family very very easy this is a plant uh, which is in podophyllum hexandrum this is a small plant which grows in upper, upper himalayan region in the autumn season the roots and rhizome which are present over here that that is being collected it is naturally uh, abundantly found into the upper himalayan region this plant is known to the uh, world for its anti proliferative property anti proliferative means it it having an anti cancer property first time this podophyllotoxin has been isolated in 1880s and these podophyllotoxin as it comes in upper himalayan region and it's very rare plant so this is very very costly one so you can imagine you can see you can uh, find out the cost of this that is uh, in uk in 3.5 ml of medicated cost is costing on 14.50 49 pounds while same in us it is costing 200 dollars so it is a very costly drug and if it uh, the podophyllotoxin is a olio resin uh, if it is being um, it is associated with certain side effect if it is not being cured uh, purified completely uh, as it having a, a drastic purgative effect so here we are going to see an isolation of uh, the podophyllotoxin before going to the isolation of podophyllotoxin we should know the properties that is solubility of the podophyllotoxin and being in this olio resin olio resin is nothing but a mixture of oil and resin this unique combination uh, this class of phytoconstituent they uh, show the specific solubility they are soluble in moderately polar solvent like ethanol and methanol while they are insoluble in extreme non polar as well as extreme polar extreme non polar means here we can uh, say that benzene chloroform hexane it is insoluble while it is also insoluble in water it get precipitated out in this kinds of solvent while they are very freely soluble in the solvent uh, like ethanol and methanol and this is the basis of isolation uh of the podophyllotoxin from the plant material so here uh, roots and rhizomes they have made into the pieces and they subjected with an extraction by using a succulation technique with the methanol as I, we have been said that uh, these resins are soluble in alcohol so roots and rhizome they they show the presence of oil and resin that is olio resin along with other chemical constituent and this methanol is an universal solvent so this methanol extract they show the presence of resin along with the other chemical constituent so next step is what we need to be to separate out the resin from the other constituent and we know the property of resin that when the resin uh, is added into the water it get precipitated out same uh, same principle is used in next step so this extract is made into the uh, distillation or evaporation to get an syrup mass and these syrup mass they uh, uh, mix with an acidified water so as soon as acidified water has been added being an olio resin they are insoluble in water and they get precipitated out and this precipitation has been uh, cooled at an 5 degrees celsius to get a maximum amount of precipitation and this precipitation is collected and they dried and these dried uh, precipitate is again uh, boiled or we can say warm with the alcohol as we mentioned all, uh, already that this resins are soluble in alcohol so this precipitate gets soluble in alcohol another remnant impurities impurities means what we can see here some of some part fractions of acid which may get dried along with the precipitate that is that will be insoluble in alcohol and that uh, uh, will be remain into the solid form while uh, in the hot alcohol only the resins get solubilized and these filtrate then again uh, to this filtrate other solvent has been added uh, which is a non polar solvent like benzene or hexane and this addition of benzene and hexane to this alcohol result into the uh, precipitate out of the resin and the solio resin uh, can be uh, 
uh, separate out and can be isolated from the uh, roots and rhizomes. So this is the method of isolation. So uh, the principle is very simple. Uh, the in first step, we uh, in this first step, the resins from the roots and rhizomes they may solubilize into the alcohol, and these uh, alcoholic solution is mixed with the water so that resin, specifically resin, should precipitate out. And this precipitated resin again made solubilized into the alcohol to remove the impurity. And then this solubilized resin that uh, precipitated out with the help of organic solvent. So this is what a basis uh, of the extraction of podophyllotoxin. So whatever the toxin, podophyllotoxin which has been isolated, whether it is a same one or a different one, for that purpose one need to do an identification. Identification test has been carried out by as simple as qualitative chemical test or by means of TLC, HPTLC or HPLC. So in T, uh, chemical test for toxin specifically because of this lactone derivative, they have a specific chemical reaction with 50% sulfuric acid. When this 50% sulfuric acid has been mixed with a podophyllotoxin containing fraction or podophyllotoxin and warm little bit, it gives a violet blue coloration. It gives confirmation that isolated product is podophyllotoxin. And then TLC is another technique, HPTLC, TLC, where these uh, fractions or the purified podophyllotoxin can be applied on the stationary phase or a plate which is made up of stationary, stationary phase that is silica gel G or silica gel G of 254 and run in the mobile phase containing a solvent combination that is chloroform methanol 25 to 1 and after running this plate can be visualized in presence of sulfuric acid and by spraying the sulfuric acid and after that it is heated at 110 degrees Celsius as we know that podophyllotoxin when being uh, treated with sulfuric acid to produce a violet color same uh, here reaction is going to take place after separation of podophyllotoxin and after uh, spraying the sulfuric acid it going to give a violet color spot and this whatever the RF value has been calculated and whatever the RF value is obtained they have been matched with the standard reference and thus it can be confirmed the uh, podophyllotoxin by means of TLC or HPTLC. HPLC is nothing but a high performance liquid chromatography where the sample uh, is solubilized into the mobile phase and this sample has been run by means of isocratic method and using a mobile phase acidonatal methanol water with this proportion and whatever the elute which is coming out of the column you have been visualized at UV, UV spectroscopy detector uh, at a 280 nanometer and the peak which is observed at 272.3 minute and with the lambda max of 280 can confirm the presence of podophyllotoxin. Then utilization, so as we have been mentioned that this podophyllotoxin known to be toxin because it having certain side effect. This side effect is nothing but catheretic and purgative. Okay, so this can be used as an one of the therapeutic property. So in little dose it produces a catheretic and purgative effect. As well as this is being a toxin shows an antiviral agents, uh, vesicant and anthelmintic property. Along with that, this having an anti-proliferative, so this is an what here I shown over here. This is an antiviral, this is a viral infection which lead to the keratinization of skin. And these in being an anti-proliferative property, this can be used in treatment of wards. Additionally, a new two semi-synthetic derivative, derivative has been prepared from the podophyllotoxin, that is etoposide and tenoposide, which made certain changes into the structure of podophyllotoxin and they are being utilized in anti-cancer. So for this uh, anti-proliferative property which is used in wards, the marketed formulations are available. Podovart and Podovart yes, which is running into the, which is which is selling, sold into the India. While uh, as I mentioned that is an another uh, semi-synthetic derivative has been produced, this is a podophyllotoxin derivative, they have been made certain structural changes at this OH group. And this led to the development of two semi-synthetic derivatives that is etoposide and tenoposide. Etoposide having a uh, usefulness in different cancer like testicular cancer, lung cancer, lymphoma, leukemia, neuroblastoma, ovarian cancer and oral and, and by oral and parenteral root. Well, tenoposide is only given by IV root that is parenteral root. Useful in uh, uh, childhood acute lymphocytic lymphoma, Hodgkin's lymphoma and certain brain disorder. So this is an uh, etoposide and this is an tenoposide. Uh, so structural modification at this OH position and that led to the two different derivatives. Uh, so these are the some labels. Uh, tenoposide 
is uh, available in the injection form and uh, etoposite is available with the solid dosage form. Thank you.